Hi everybody, I was asked to share some of my experiences with how Leaf Roll 3 is traveling from one vineyard to the next and the risks we take by not scouting and understanding the virus status, not only of your new investment, your new vineyard, but also the vineyards that surround your new uh, investment. So this is a 60 year old uh, old vine Zin patch that had some leaf roll in it for decades and decades, but it has recently spread much more aggressively because of the vine mealy bug. Uh, the vine mealy bug is, is a pest which is very difficult to kill. Um, however, it does uh, vector the leaf roll very, very efficiently. And so you can see classic leaf roll three symptoms here on the uh, old vine Zin leaf. And then just 15 feet to the south, we have a newly planted vineyard. Well, it's about six years old. Didn't show any symptoms of virus until this recent year. But now we can clearly see symptoms of leaf roll three affecting this six year old planting. In fact, I was so concerned about it is that I hired a crew and trained a crew in order to recognize leaf roll three symptoms versus uh, other symptoms of um, nutrient deficiencies and other issues which may look like leaf roll three but they went through and marked all of the vines in this field which looked suspiciously like a virus red leaf virus vine and what we found was that we have very much an edge effect occurring on the north side of this vineyard we have the old vine zinfandel here which is serving as the inoculum pool for uh, leaf roll three and we also have the new vineyard which I worked very hard to make sure I had clean 2010 protocol material when I planted it. What we see here is that the virus seems to be moving from the north to the south. I'm not sure what these are here if that is vine mealybug uh, vectoring the virus coming in via wind or from birds or perhaps it could be virus vines coming from the nursery but I'm still sending in lab tests to find out the exact extent of how accurate uh, the extent of the virus infection in the vineyard and really how accurate my crew was in identifying leaf roll symptoms versus other issues that may be occurring which are not as worrisome as leaf roll. Bottom line, I just wanted to point out uh, for those doubters out there um, that leaf roll 3 absolutely does move from, from one vineyard to the next and as we plant a new vineyard we need to be very concerned about who your neighbors are and you may be your own neighbor and in that case um, you need to take a look at what is the virus status of the vineyards around you and can it move from this old vineyard into a new investment. Um, number two, we need to be thinking about uh, this as a community-wide effort. Um, if you have a neighbor that's next door to you, um, it's a good idea to start engaging in that conversation. At least I would recommend that. Now I know there's no farmer that likes to be told how to farm or that he's doing something right or wrong. Um, so it's a very sensitive discussion, but I think we have to have these discussions because if you're about to spend $20,000 an acre on planting a new vineyard um, that you need to have get to 24 bricks and not have the issues that leaf roll three can bring to you when it comes to maturing that crop properly and you're next to a neighbor who may have virus issues or maybe he doesn't control vine mealybug as much as you would, it would need to be controlled, it's a good idea to at least start those conversations for the benefit of everybody in the neighborhood. So I encourage you to do that and also talk to Dr. Stephanie Bolton of Lodi Wine Commission if you would like some more information on this critically important issue. Thank you.